Hey guys, it is Tick and K, or Eric, and uh, I just want to make a little video on my new car from Copart. So this car I bought just last week, and I thought it was a good deal. I got it for $22.50, and as you can see, it got in a little front end accident here. Uh, it's going to need a new bumper, it's going to need a new uh, tail marker for this side, uh, it's also going to need a new hood, so it gives me an excuse to buy the Cobra R style hood and a GT California Special style bumper. Now this is just a 4.0, um, I do have big plans for the future of this car, um, I'm not going to go too in depth until it is about time to do it or until I'm pulling the parts out of this one. But I want to just go over it a little bit. It's got 150,000 miles, almost 160. Um, the body is really in good shape, other than this little. See, you can see the hood kind of curls in. Wasn't too bad. Obviously, this is broken. The grill is fine. One of the tabs that goes in, this one actually, you can see it's broken here. The tab that goes in there broke, but the bottom ones in this side. And that, see that one's also broken, but it, the grill, it held onto that part, so it, I got the grill in the trunk, and it's actually, it's reusable. Um, uh, let's go on to, since we're on the front of the car anyway, let's go on to the engine. Sorry, I put the prop back in. Okay, so as you can see, I have the whole front end of this thing pretty much disassembled. Uh, I got an alternator right there, newish. And that Gates water pump I just put on yesterday. Got a brand new hose right there. Brand new hose clamps. Sorry, the autofocus thing is kind of fucking up. Uh, right there is a new thermostat housing. And the big missing component right up here would be the radiator. So, oh, there's also the harmonic balancer. So, um, I'm getting a brand new harmonic balancer. I'm getting... Obviously, I had the Gates water pump already. It already came in. I have a CSF radiator coming. That was about a hundred bucks. The Gates water pump is fifty bucks. The the hoses and the new drive pulleys and everything were relatively cheap. Uh, I'd say less than fifty bucks for all that stuff for uh, allonrockauto.com. And uh, yeah, it's I mean it's not bad. I I did clean up uh, pretty good. I'll, I'll take I'll. Uh, include a little video of me cleaning up a little bit I, before I took everything apart I drove it down to the, the car wash uh, even with the radiator leaking it was a slow leak so not that bad uh, um, let's see here it's got a Duracell battery um, all I had to do is throw that thing on the charger, trickle charged it for a day, and it seems to be doing fine. Um, so yeah, I'll probably do a little update once I get the radiator and stuff back in. Let me let me go ahead and show you the radiator and the harmonic balancer and the reason why I went ahead and uh, why why I went ahead and changed them out. Um, the water pump, I believe, was making a noise. It had a lot of play in the shaft. If you're wondering why I changed that out, so uh, let's go over here to the harmonic balancer. This is also my Copart Kia. Not bad. Don't don't mind the zip tie holding the grill on. Um, but this is why I had to change the harmonic balancer. I'm amazed it made it home. I drove 50 miles from Copart slot uh, to my house, and this. I, I didn't notice at the time, but it was very wobbly because the rubber separated from the Oops. So, not only that, but it, if you can see on the inside here, I'm sure this also is part that oh, kind of wobbly on the hood. It's supposed to uh, be secure. I'm sure you can see that that is uh, loosey goosey in there. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this back on the hood. So, got a new one of those coming in. But other than that, other than uh, the engine problems, there there's a little bit of clear coat peel, and the uh, decals for the stripes is coming off a little bit. But 
Uh, this car will probably get repainted um, at some point, not anytime soon, but when when my big plans come into play, I will uh, definitely want to, want to repaint this car. So when I get the new bumper and the new hood, I'll probably just leave them unpainted. I'll probably just primer them. Um, I do like these wheels, but I have these wheels from my old Mustang. Uh, I don't know what size. I think they're 19. But I bought those, um, la no, not last year, two years ago. I don't think this is the one with the chip in it. But it, they hit a curb and, a, like, a tiny square came out. Uh, but it, it still holds air. And I did, like I said, they were on my old Mustang. And I drove that thing for a long time, so. I thought it was about time for me to get another one. But I do like these wheels. I like the rims. They look good. The tires aren't that bad, but they will need to get replaced. They're all different brands, I think. That's a Dunlop. No, that's a Dunlop. So this side, for some reason, has the same tires. Uh, it's going around here to the back. Uh, I didn't notice that the bumper kind of separating right there a little bit. Don't know what's going on with that, but I can certainly figure that out. Um, these taillights weren't in here. I put I picked these up for a hundred bucks. Uh, they do have a little bit of trouble with the LEDs, but uh, at night you really can't tell. Looks pretty good to me. And like I said, the uh, there's a little bit of clear coat peel along here. The stripes are obviously fading off. We go to the keys. I'll show you the grill. I also got the radiator, core support cover. So, as you can see, those, that top clip broke off, but there's still one. And then all those clips on the top are, are just fine. Nope, oh, come on, that one broke off too. I didn't get, I haven't actually looked at this very well. That one's still holding on to the piece of the bumper. That one broke off, so I might be able to plastic weld some new ones on, or whatever I might go to LKQ and see if they have a grill that's busted up and uh, cut those clips off of there and just plastic weld them onto this new one or it might hold on just fine um, but overall I think it's it's a pretty nice car I think the uh, paint job will last me for a little while let's uh, unlock inside of here show you guys the interior so, classic Mustang 0509, the, uh, I don't know if this problem is on 11 to 14s, but this door card is kind of coming off a little bit in places, same for the passenger side, but it's not terrible. Um, I'll probably get the diamond stitch ones and the cross stitch diamond pattern and replace those, so look forward to a video on that. Uh, other than that little discrepancy the interior is very nice um power seat works just fine no airbags went off uh, the only thing i really noticed is that the the floor mats are gone but that's okay i will also get the diamond stitch ones off american muscle uh, it does have the shaker 500 system this car came with the pony package as well so it does have cloth but it uh, has the leather steering wheel it has the four gauges uh, so you can change the color on that stuff. Like I said, it's got the Shaker 500, so it's got the better door speakers. My last Mustang didn't have the good speakers. It had, I think, just that one and not that one. Um, but it's really clean in here. I like the uh, the trim. My last one just had like a beige trim on it. It didn't have that metal, uh, faux metal look on it. But I'm mostly happy that the airbags didn't deploy. Um, well, this is classic Mustang problem too. Uh, it, you know, it's peeling up right here. Oh, I haven't, uh, my last one didn't have that problem, but this one does. And obviously you can see over here that the, uh, it's peeling a little bit. That's why I want to get that diamond stitch. 
So look forward to that. Um, back here, you can see it's it's in pretty good shape. Um, I actually found some of the guys' credentials who owned it. This car did come from USAA. Um, I guess he was a master sergeant. I don't know in what branch or anything. Um, I'm not. My dad was a marine, but I'm certainly not interested in interested in any of that military stuff. Uh, I have a little bit of knowledge, but not a lot. Um, anyway, look forward to videos on this. I'll probably have an exhaust video coming up soon. I don't. I'm not going to go too crazy, I'm just going to weld uh, probably a straight pipe through with the muffler. I do like them a little loud and obnoxious. Uh, but once, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and blow the whistle on myself and uh, I probably will engine swap this car. I won't, I won't reveal what engine, but it definitely will be happening. So, look forward to that. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any more questions about the car, leave them in the comments for me. I'll make sure to answer them. Uh, obviously, I'm a small channel. I will answer basically any comment that gets um, put down. But anyways, thank you guys. Have a great day. Okay, so I was reviewing my video, and I realized I left out the... Uh, I checked the other side of the, the tires. I didn't check this side. So the other side has two Dunlops on it, and this has a general tire on it. Uh, pretty decent tread on this tire I'm not sure if maybe they popped it or something and then this one is also a Dunlop so I was wrong about the mismatched tires it does have three of the same ones but that one is different I didn't want to leave that out uh, but they're not as bad as I thought but definitely uh, if, if anyone was wondering that would have bothered me so I just want to make sure that I just threw in this little bonus clip and uh, let y'all know Let's go over here and look at this radiator. As you can see there, something, not sure what, got shot into the radiator right there. So it had a little pinhole leak and uh, it also got whacked by something. I don't, I'm not sure what they, they hit. But the, this, the radiator shroud itself is actually fun.